Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and welcome back to Kip Plays Hilux. Now, you may be wondering, Kip, why are we back here? We just opened a big door that could potentially lead to the big final boss. Well, Melis, Melis, M-E-H-L-E-S-S, -E -S, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, has been just really fantastic this entire time about helping out with little hip, hints and tips and tricks. I thought this machine did something if I interacted with it. There we go. Oh, I have to sleep. Anyway, they let me know that there was a place where you could get infinite paper cups, and I did a little research on the internet machine. By the way, there's no walkthrough for this game that I've found. Uh, anyway, which I guess is a good thing since I'm playing it blind. This place right here, and this is my tip and trick for you, is where you can get infinite paper cups. Look! Acquire paper cup? Interesting, you say. But Kip... That's not endless paper cups. You only have one. Well, guess what? Press that little space bar again, friends, and woo! Actually, I pressed the Z key. I wonder how many times I can press it. Although, I doubt there are going to be hundreds more water coolers, since I think we might be pretty close to the end. Um, let's say, I think maybe I'll stop at 10. How many do I have now? 13. All right, 13 is good, I think. And if there actually are a lot more water coolers, then we can definitely, uh, you know, find them. And we'll get more cups. So yeah, so that is, you know, my video on tips and tricks for Hilux. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, we're going to go back to that big door. So there are a couple of resources online for this game that I was interested in. There is a whole bunch of stuff that was found in uh, uh, on the cutting room floor, which were files that were not used ultimately in this game. You know, I don't know how I feel about that. Gosh, if I if I were to think about all the unused files in a Nomiac, that I'm like, ooh, I hope nobody ever has to take a look at these files because, ay ay ay. Um, and so obviously some of the files on the cutting room floor from this game are underwhelming. Some of them it's really cool to see the thought process, you know, from early versions of these maps. By the way, this place is indeed, I think it's called the Graveyard, maybe. Oh. This is a little different than I was expecting. Are you guys friends, or? No. Not friends. Not friends, friends! I'm just going to go all out here. Health chant. Is that new? Probably not. Let's just all do something offensive, shall we? Ooh, I like that. Ooh, gosh dang, and, Pen and Pongorma is paralyzed. Well, boy, howdy, that's not great. All right, let's, uh, how do I heal you, friend? Did I get a detonation off? No, because Pongorm is paralyzed. Got it, got it. Well, at least you're stunned. Manoops, I think is its name. Yeah, Manoops. All right, enjoy that dead status you just acquired. Alright. So, I can avoid these fights if I want to. I feel like in an RPG it's a... Oh, cool. We're walking on a body of some kind. In an RPG, in my experience, it's not a great idea to skip battles. But, I don't know. I'm a horse of a different color, friends. Demon skull was found. Let's equip that ASAP. Oh, by the way, Wayne is wearing the the head squirrel, which is what we achieved by giving the squirrel the, the squirrel food. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned that I did that. I think I did it off camera. Oh, the Duzmol is already wearing a demon skull. Um, if I take this off, can I... Oh, Mightiness goes up to 99. Yeah, let's do that. All 
Oh wait, I can do du I can dual wield. Oh yeah, because I have turbo tendons. Yeah, bestial axe sounds good. Joyous. What even is that thing? I thought maybe it was a. I thought it was like a bong at first, but I don't think it is. I think it's some sort of police nightstick with a weird thing at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. I don't claim to speak for Mason Lindrith, friends. I'm sure Mason Lindrith can speak for Mason Lindrith. Maybe we won't skip every fight, just most of the early ones. This is a cool map. I haven't seen this map online yet. That's the thing about this game is there's so little uh, information about it out there. Oh, I didn't heal Pongorma, did I? Ooh, and we're going to need to get some will going on here. Gosh dang. So some Snow says, oh gosh dang. No. I did not want Pongorma to die. I even used vegetables for Pongorma. But I do have some warmed up burritos. Hypno-sigils will put him to sleep. Maybe then you won't kill my friends. Alright, just in case they're planning on giving us some status ailments. What are their names, by the way? Fa Fathead A and Fathead B. Did I miss a turn there or something? No, I did not. Let's see if just some regular attacks will get him out of the way. Nice! Alright, we need to use that warm burrito that we just got, Franz. See, I'm not doing great at the battles, and I'm talking about skipping battles, and it's like... How does that make sense? I need to get stronger so I'm not losing the battles before I skip the battles. But the thing is... Um... <clears throat> oh, we're still perilously low on juice boxes. Yeah, maybe let's hold off on the battles because of the limited resources we have. Gosh dang it, I was just in the mountain city. Why didn't I buy some more juice boxes? Well, it's all in the past, friends. We can use the paper cup with this machine. Your companion places the paper cup into a recess on the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it and your will is permanently increased by 25 points. Hooray! Blue, blue was the heaven above me and the earth green at my feet. Oh, life, oh, life, I kept saying, and the very word seemed sweet. Whoa. Out of thine beast your creature batters. So what will thine pupigerous apparel actualize? You know, that's a really good question. I was asking myself that same question just the other day. Nice, we, we got another vegetable. Veggie. This map is interesting. It's just made of, like, corpses. Duck blade was found. What is it? Oh. Small chance of lowering target's mightiness. Yeah, I'll take that chance. Who did I just give the bestial axe to? Yeah, so that's not... Oh, that's even less? So then who needs a stronger weapon, I guess? Oh. What does the parasite crystal do? Greatly increases maximum will points. Decreases flesh points. Yeah, let me up my attack here to the duck blade. Oh. This music is different. Have we heard this yet? Whoa. 
will. We are not going to. Oh, I see why it's draining so much will from Samsonosa, who only has 150 will, and, and Pangorma, who only has 125, when these attacks take like 60 will each time. Tomb Shrub. Well, you are green. And no, Pangorma's dead. Oh no, did did he did did Tomb Shrub summon another Tomb Shrub? Not cool, Tomb Shrub. I guess maybe you are a Mason Lindrith like topiary, aren't you? Oh, Sub Shrub. So, Sub Shrub is not the main dude. What? More Tomb Shrubs? No! Well, this is upsetting. I am now officially upsetted. I guess I'll go ahead and use Warm Burritos, eh? But I'll keep using what I believe to be my strongest attack for a while. No, no, no. Please don't. Okay, good. Deduzmon did not die. I sure wish you would stop summoning those friends, friend. Um, please don't die, Deduzmon. Gosh dang, look at all these sub shrubs. This might be too much for me. Oh my gosh. This is miserable. Try to put them all to sleep, I suppose. And then Dark Flame is what I should be using now that there are so many of them. Please sleep. Yes. So four of them fell asleep, including the head honcho. Although I guess my attack just woke him up. My attack woke everyone up. I mean, it certainly makes sense that it would, right? My last juice box, friends. And another sub shrub? Will this continue endlessly? Will the screen just fill with sub shrubs, do you think? Oh my gosh. This is a hard game, friends. This is quite a hard game. Ay 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 ay. What does Bubbles do again? I guess maybe I've kind of given up at, at this point. Oh no, wait, good. Good, 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 good. Take that. Take that. Take that. The only thing is, I don't have any other way to summon Will, do I? Unless I have another one of those special healing things? No. I'm going to try to stop the death from happening, and then I'll just try to throw a bunch of dynamite, I guess. I'm like, should I just throw a lot of dynamite, or should I actually revive my friends first? Oh, nice! Good. Now, the worst thing that could have happened there is I would have killed the main shrub, and then suddenly, uh, and then one of the sub shrubs stayed alive and then killed me. That certainly would not be good news. All right, what are we going to do? Gosh, what can we do? I'm going to do the best that I can. But now we do not have any will points. Maybe there will be a couch we can sit on coming up or something. I sure hope it's not a boss. Oh. It's not a boss immediately. I was assuming it might take us to a boss. Oh, wow. This is getting a little disturbing. Oh. These bodies are now 
bloody bodies. I wish you would get out of the way, Fran, so I could use that crystal. There you go. Butt scoot and boogie. Now the thing is, I don't know if they're bad guys or not. Because oh my gosh, that really scared me. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh, run, run, run. I didn't get anything from that trash can. That's weird. Oh my gosh. That freaked me out. That was legitimately frightening. Wow. <laughs> I love that you can make something truly terrifying out of something as innocuous as, you know, 2D claymation, rough claymation assets. Amid the lilies floats the moth, the mole along as galleries goeth in the dark earth. Good news is we just activated a new crystal. Now, can I remember what color it was? Was it this one? No. That one has not been activated yet. Was it the red one? Please don't send me somewhere that's going to be hard to get away from. Okay, good. Um, for some reason that guy didn't trigger a battle? Okay. Embraces thanks to my pain, not thanks to my art. I have died a lot here. I call this place the Hall of Deadly Statues. Yeah, seriously. I'm strengthening my leg muscles so I can run past them. Oh, well, we really de definitely needed that crystal activated here. Because we might be dying a lot. Found meat. But unless that statue can... No. Nothing can be done. Dead. Dead. Ay ay ay. I wonder if that actually takes away our flesh and will. No, it doesn't. I thought maybe it wouldn't. Well, I did hear something about a hall with statues that chase you. But for some reason, I thought they were referring to the ambulance skulls and just didn't uh, use the right name. But I guess this is what that is. Oh, hey. Is this like a miniature version of... Samsnosa's house? At last the shrunken fire is debased. Out of austere prisons, Wayne is rapidly shunning a spirit below concavities. Shunning? But it's of mere mandibles and being. My fatal pain will not be lamented. And now the time for shining product rays draws to an end. Gibby, incomplete, sustains delicately out of the clean lunar fortress. This mountain is a doom. Is this Death Stranding? Thanks to the theory. Below the pain. Wait, what? I wasn't done exploring the, the Hall of Deadly Statues or whatever. But I love pressing buttons. Oh. Oops. Didn't mean to kill you, friend. Also, I think I asked in the last video, who is this character? Because this character is different than Wayne, obviously. This character is known as Dracula. Which is interesting to me because I certainly don't think you look like Dracula. But in the, in the cutting room floor, I saw early versions of this character. And... It looked nothing like this, but it also looked nothing like Dracula, so... I don't know, friends. I want to go back! What is this wiggling tower? Summon airship? Yes! What? We get an airship? Well, hold on, airship. Okay, good. This is how we get to go back. It's going to be scary, but I want to know. What's this? Oh, nothing is this way. I want to know what kind of treasures could be... Oh! Oh, we need to go up there. I see. I see. Now, that was a cheap... That was a cheap scare there. There was no way I could have seen that coming. Those statues really do move fast. They're quite menacing. 
and I like its introduction, you know, this like hall of, of statues. One by one we walk past them and suddenly they spring to life. Really excellent stuff. Oh, please don't come to life. Acquired paper cup, which I did not need at all because I have infinite paper cups at this point. Okay, here comes Mama. Oh, wait, no, this is Mama. Is that an extra Mama on the right-hand side? I don't need more than one Mama right now. Ugh! It is, but they both activate anyway. All right, follow me, sillies. But don't follow me too close. Woo! That was close. Whoa, what are you? Whoa, you're cool looking. I want you to turn around so I can see ya. Come on, turn around. Turn around. There we go. Woo! You're gorgeous. I am the Sage of Death. I grant you my token. Nice! Seek my siblings, the Sage of Brains, and the Sage of... Computers, I think, is what that should say. They will give you tokens, and I forgot what it said. This is the life. Hot dog! Juice pack! I mean, I suppose it would be excellent to get, like, 50 juice packs, right? We'll definitely use them. What is this, like, off-the-beaten-path thing happening over here? Kip Icon Secret Hunter is on the case. Oh, yeah, it definitely is like a little black maze out here. Muscle applique times two. But we have to find our, our, find our way back. I love stuff like this. You know I love stuff like this. <laughs> Silly me. All right. All right, great. So now we just have to get past these friends, these mamas. And we can take the airship to that island to activate that television now that we have all three sage tokens. I'm really excited to find out what's going to happen. What could we possibly learn that's worth finding these three real, real hidden secret things? Oh, can I not land there? Are you kidding me? I can't. Oh, but I can land over here. There we go. We got some Super Mario Brothers 3 ship happening. We got some Chrono Trigger Epoch happening. And don't tell me it's the epic. It's clearly the Epoch. Ooh. Learned Legend of Melting, the ultimate magic. Dang, what does it do? Ultimate magic. Randomly strikes three times, may briefly stun targets. Alright. Targets plural, so it's a it's an all attack. I would love if it were an all attack, friends. Alright. Oops, I forget I'm not in the airship. What where did this tower go again? <laughs> I feel like I was just there and I've already completely forgotten. Oh, okay. So this summons the airship. So at this point, I guess it's just where haven't we been? Oh, also, apparently, this friend here, you guys let me know. If we just continue to push the button, he'll give us more stuff. What was it, though? I missed it. We should use these muscle appliques while I remember I have them, eh? Alright, this time don't press through dialogue. I've heard of this guy being called Octopus Man or Octopus Headed Man. Purified text tyranny. Blatantly lamented. You're a button-pressing maniac. Take this. Acquired paper. Oh, great. Now go. There's nothing more for you here. May you rock in vacuums. I don't believe you. 
I don't believe you. I don't know if you know this about me or not, octopus-headed man, but my finger was born to press the Z key. I feel like you don't know who you're messing with here, telling me to go on. There's nothing else for me here. Honestly, just pressing the Z key to make this button animate like this is enough for me. So, huh, huh, you know, huh. Maybe he is telling the truth this time, I don't know. Please don't touch the lever, thank you. Well, boy howdy, I can press this Z key many times and you don't even know what you're you don't even know who you're messing with. I've also heard that maybe Octopus Headed Man is a secret boss. I really want to fight a secret boss, but I guess maybe I'm not I don't think I'm really prepared to fight a secret boss right now. Usually secret bosses are super hard. All right, well, I'm not going to waste all of our time anymore by pressing these levers infinitely, but I will pick up this veggie. All right. Ooh, we haven't been up here yet. What? That's us. What are we? Oh my gosh, I'm a cool dude. I finally get to be a cool dude. <laughs> and I leave immediately. Um, I thought there was a secret. Oh, we're playing a show. But... Oh, okay, I was about to say, but there's no music. Render the fleece and chronologies. Render and chronologies the fleece. Oh, yeah, ostensibly, oh, yeah. This sound, oh, so haughty. We're playing a show, friends. We're playing a gig. She can really embrace. Whoa, what are you? Yo, fate homunculus. Homunculus fate. There we go with that homunculus talk again. This sound, oh, so... Oh. Rock on, my theory. Chemical sustenance. Sustenance chemical. Oh, there's a TV here. We're learning all the things, guys. I'm... Whoa, that looks like... Learn to dissect. Well, it looks like dismemberment. Or not dismemberment, obviously. That's the head. Oh, it's Dracula. Oh, vent. I'm so rendering desired right now. Can you guys do Mizan Industries? That Doom is my beast. Um, well, oh no, what was I going to say? Oh, the animation looked like ripping some sort of creature open and um, their guts spilling out. So you think you can sustain my vacuum? That you can just hydrate my fate? You can't do that. Oh, do it again. Wait, who is this? Orange-headed friend. Rock on, my art. Is this canon? All this talk about homunculus. Homunculi? Homunculuses? Juice pack. That's better than a juice box, eh? Oh, fully restores all allies' will. Well, in the next episode, we're going to find out what else we haven't been able to reach without the airship. I guess I was wrong, assuming that we were almost done. Maybe in the next one we'll be done? I keep hearing that this game is short, but I've made quite a few episodes so far. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I have been, and I will continue to be a cool guy, because look at my sunglasses. Look at Wayne's sunglasses. Uh, I'll continue to be Kip Icon as long as you guys continue to what? Follow your drams. Wait, does this fish say something? Oh. <laughs> Shall I recite the music tutorial? Yes. Use keys 1 to 4 to play notes and key 5 to change um style. Or don't. Your life. You can also coerce your bandmates into playing their instruments by pressing the space while facing them. Try it, maybe. Wait, 1 through 4? I'll play us out, friends. Uh.
Oh, I see. Oh, you can change instrument styles. Oh, I like this. Well, this is rad. All right. Follow your drams. Bye.